We're on day 119, and we've got work to do. I'm not going to start doing more of those challenges, I think, until I really, really start needing more slot releasers or what whatnot. Hmm. Okay, I've bought pretty much everything that I can. That's fine. Okay. Nothing new to buy at the store, that's okay. Hey, Luke Sword. Have you been customizing your weapons? A smart player knows how to adapt his game to suit the house rules. Equip a weapon with two or more units installed in it, then come see me. I'll find you a game worthy of the weapon you've crafted. I see you've got a weapon with two or more units installed. Good. I'll get you clearance for a suitable game, a new mission. Ask Syx for the details. Oh boy! A new mission is now available. Oh boy! I can't wait to tell Syx! You know doing missions fills the bonus gauge, right? It lets the organization keep tabs on how hard you're working. How's about I take a little peek? Come tell me when you filled it completely for days 97 to 116. Looks like you filled the gauge for days 97 to 116, slugger. Nice going. Here's a little something from me to you. And we get a gust shard. Oh boy. Arrow materials. Are you training? Daily effort is, only pa is the only path to strength. I can also trade stuff to Demix to get power shards. Depart as soon as you are ready. Butt face. Hey, that was uncalled for. We can go to Beast's Castle to investigate the castle's master. We can collect hearts in Olympus Coliseum. We can eliminate the deserters in Olympus Coliseum. Or we can eliminate the Morning Star. Stop, YouTube. I don't want to hear about comments when I'm streaming. Ever. Olympus Coliseum. Let's do this one. A Morning Star is serviced in Olympus Coliseum. Team up with Zigbar. Find it and eliminate it at once. I think this is our first time teaming up with Zigbar. Morning stars are invulnerable during spin attacks, but you can bring them to a halt using blocks or a certain magic. Also, be on the lookout for zip slashers. Oh, yeah! We also didn't... Wait, we didn't customize our panels at all. And we have new magic spells. We have arrow and thunder. I'm pretty sure thunder is what we need. Okay, we also need to equip magic level 2. Okay, we got, we got work to do, folks. All right. Start by moving that down. Alright, magic level 2 can go right there. I'm going to equip a cure on there as well, because I want cure level 4. I'm not getting enough cure the way it is now. Um, I believe thunder is what brings it to a stop. So I want double, triple cast thunder to get 6 thunders at our disposal. Just like that. Yeah, they're still level 1, but who cares. And then we'll power up our blizzards and fire some more. There, that looks pretty nice. Alright. Now we need to re-equip some level ups. Oh, we also have auto life. We cannot, we cannot equip auto life. I will take Treasure Magnet over Aerial Recovery, though. I don't really use Aerial re Recovery all that much. I'm just not that much of a fan of Aerial. Alright. We can map this to... There we go. Okay, now we're all set. <laughs> Are you finally ready now, Buttface? Yes. Alright. Wait. Oh, is this team up with Zigbar? I thought it said team up with Zaldin. Oh, no. Zaldin is teamed up in the Beast's Castle one. No, we... Okay, no, we've definitely teamed up with Zigbar. We've we literally explored the world with him the first time we came here. Ooh, tension rising. Defeat the Morning Star. Oh, you guys. I actually do remember this mission pretty well. The Morning Star is one of those giant spike ball heartless... And I'm, like, 90% sure that Thunder is what... Stop, YouTube comments! I don't want to hear that alert sound again. For the rest of this stream. Ouch. 
Yikes! Ow, 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 ow. Oh yeah, look at how much more that healed our HP now that it's cure level 4. Man, that is really hard to dodge roll! These flare cannons, or I'm sorry, little cannons. These are just the little cannons. Get back here. Oh, thanks, Zigbar. Okay, little cannons mean big business, apparently. Leveling your spells up properly definitely helps. How's it going, Nintendo Addict? Hope you're doing well. And we got a Thunder recipe. We're gonna need that. We only have two casts of Thunder. I mean, we have six, because I used them both for triple cast, but still. Alright, I hope the rest of it are out in this... Uh, in the arena! <laughs> hey, Morningstar! You try to air slide away from the fireballs. Doesn't always work, but it's a little easier than dodge rolling. That's a good idea. Okay, well, before we do that, we got some badges to collect. I forgot air slide is a thing. Ouch! <laughs> Thanks for taking the hit for me, Zigbar. You're a pal! Another Thunder Recipe. Oh, there are two challenges for this level. Take this! Roxas has had enough! Roxas has had enough! Take this, little cannon. Okay. Actually, what I should do... Blizzard deals a Oh my gosh! Level 4 Blizzard is insane against those guys. This is what I... Remember when I was telling you guys earlier that magic in this game is, like, the way you're supposed to defeat enemies? Yeah, this is why. I'm pretty sure these guys do not infinitely spawn. Alright, where is that other little cannon? Lock onto the dang freaking, freaking stinking little cannon. Yeah, look at how much. Did you? That blizzard almost one shot at him. Okay, no, they're just they're just spawning infinitely. No, no, no. Yes, please keep doing that, Zigbar. Actually, wait, is it Blizzard that stops him? I thought it was Thunder that stopped him. Guarding him also works, but it doesn't... Get back here, you little Kremlin. Okay, no, that definitely deals a lot of damage, and that's a level 1 Thunder, keep in mind, and that dealt that much damage. Alright, Roxas. Make him wish that his mama had never given birth to him! I need to stop thinking that Limit Break makes you invincible. Oh, am I thinking of a different one, guys? We Okay. Oh, I bet it's like, oh, I, hope you, I hope you brought Arrow! If, did you not bring Arrow? Why would you not bring Arrow? Because Arrow is a garbage magic spell in every Kingdom Hearts game except the first one. Like, literally. <laughs> oh, wait, I... Do we have to freaking hit the barrels at him? It's really hard to hit him with Thunder, because he keeps zigzagging around all over the place. Hey, um, Ziggy, could you heal me? Or, or don't. I can't believe I didn't die there. On this episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive. What?! I wasn't even close to that target! <laughs> what the heck?
Nick! Also, hi, Sonic. How's it going? We're playing some Kingdom Hearts right now, and um, this guy's kicking my butt. <laughs> that, that was the kind of a wonky hitbox. Ow! You, you're not about to stop. Oh, oh, you done goofed up now, son. Because we got an explosive barrel! Oh, just let me perform my 12-hit combo on it. That didn't stop the Morning Star. So I, f I bet you, I bet you, the thing that would have made him easier is Arrow, and I didn't pack any of them. I only have four shortcuts. Okay, that was a mistake. Whip! How did Mario World go? I saw you were playing that before, right before I started. You raged. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing right now, so... No, 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 no! Why do they have infinitely spawning enemies in this fight? What, was the boss not enough? Apparently not. Okay, I'm... new plan. Boss can go off to La La Land, do what he wants. While he's doing that, I'm gonna focus on the cannons. Ow. This guy just seems to spin forever. I mean, Nintendo had a I killed like three waves of the little cannons and then they just kept respawning, so I assumed that they were just... gone. They were just infinite. Thunder does deal high damage. I wish I had more so I could have leveled it up. Nope! Nope! Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. That's not good. I'm out of cure. Oh great, and I just can't do my limit break. That's nice. Get back here, get back here, come on, get back here. I thought playing this would be... Oh, there- Oh, you guys did- <laughs> You guys screwed up real bad! You knocked me into my ultimate form! I can't believe I didn't die from him falling on my head. Alright, we're getting out, we're getting out. Alright, thanks for joining in, Sonic. Have a great night. Oh, <laughs> I hope your 10-hour shift goes well. That does not sound like fun. Caution, a powerful Heartless is near. Well, <laughs> let's just... Let's just peace out of here, then. You know what the favorite part of my day is, Shion? What? Eating ice cream with you. Aw, that's sweet. Because it sure beats getting beaten up by the Morning Star. <laughs> you just have a way with words, Roxas. <laughs> Zip Slasher is so lonely. Uh, maybe we'll beat him in... Maybe we'll beat him in the challenges. Day 12. <laughs> we go all the way back to day 12. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I should have equipped some arrows. Okay, I am buying another thunder from the store. I'm gonna buy another thunder from the store. Because they are worth it. Also, I think I can synthesize a thunder. Yeah! We got some thunder recipes. Thunder is one of the best magic spells, generally. Ooh, Blizzard Block is good. That's the best block linker. Like, definitely. Alright, alright. There we go. Now we have to play... <laughs> Let's synthesize the panels properly. Alright. We still can't get auto life, which is... I mean, we could. We would just have to unequip some stuff that I don't want to unequip. 
So instead, let's go ahead and equip more funders. I don't really use fire anymore. Fire is kind of a bad spell now. That's that's better. Oh, my funder is going to be so powerful. <laughs> this is going to be great. Depart as soon as you are ready. <laughs> I'm ready now. Let's eliminate... Oh, yeah, eliminate the deserters! I love these enemies. Let's try to make this a fast level. <laughs> Pursue and defeat the deserters! Okay, I'll do my best. Oh, boy, I can craft arrow. Because... That's a good spell, apparently. I still have a fire? Rats. Oh no! You reversed my controls, you dumb symbol monkey! You die for that. Oh boy, another arrow recipe. My favorite! Oh hey, sweet! Unity badge. Oh no. Flashbacks to yesterday. A soldier, what are you doing here? I want I want the deserters. Okay, limit break, limit break. This all goes according to plan. We can kick some serious butt. Oh, we can still kick some serious butt. The soldiers are making things a little annoying, though. Ooh, double prize. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Does it save that I killed all the deserters I actually did kill? <laughs> or do I have to do it again? Oh my gosh, it actually does. I was kind of joking, but thank you! Man, oh my gosh, these guys are giving us a lot of shield techs. I'm cool with this. I need to make a lot of these shielding moves. <laughs> the, the deserter's just like, can't catch me! I'm like, that's fine, I'll just farm shield techs. <laughs> I need that to synthesize a bunch of stuff. Oh my, wow, they are literally all dropping shield techs. That's great, I love that. Did I miss any ordeal badges? I feel like these or these challenges would actually not be that difficult. The deserter challenges rarely are. Or maybe not. Alright. herp a dibbity burp a dibbity burp Well, that went pretty well. I mean, I died once, but it's okay, because we get ice cream afterwards. Actually, no, we don't. Or maybe we do, but it just doesn't show it. We get double rewards! Oh boy, six lightning shards. Six shield techs, that's really good. <laughs> we get some icy cream! Yeah, we just went from day 12 to day 121. Not really, my emulator's just, uh, weird, apparently. Okay, I do I still- Oh, I do still have a fire equipped. <laughs> well, let's fix that! Uh, Nintendo Addict, can you get rid of the bot, please? <laughs> Thank you. I guess, hmm. Here's the thing, though, Mobius. I actually don't want to become famous. It's shocking, I know. Let's let's actually take Arrow. No, I don't. Being famous would suck. Actually, wait. I don't think I don't think increased Arrow power is going to be that useful. Arrow is mainly useful for actually being able to blow stuff away. Oh, but now we can equip Auto Life. Ah yeah. Doom 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 doom. Depart when you are ready. Okay, we're gonna collect hearts in Olympus Coliseum. Look out for clay armors. Dispatch them with thunder magic. Do we have enough thunder magic? How many do we have? 
We have seven. Okay, no. If, they, if they're literally saying, like, oh, you better bring a lot of thunder for this one, <laughs> then I'm gonna bring a lot of thunder for this one. <laughs> Actually, what level is my Thunder now? I have Thunder... Only a Thunder level 4. I guess it... Okay. Then let's do that instead. I want Thunder level 8. Oh, I guess it's only Thunder level 5. That's still really good. <laughs> Alright. I'm ready, Saix. Now, Now I've got so much Thunder. Don't I get a partner for this level? <laughs> I know you were joking, Mobius, but I literally only have two moderators. My sister and then Nintendo Addict. And I only made Nintendo Addict a moderator because of moments like this, where he was the only one in stream who <laughs> was around when the bots were came in in full swing. Hmm, I'm not on recon today, so I should probably steer clear of the Coliseum. All I have to do is defeat some Heartless, and then I can head home. Oh, have a heart, Roxas. Herp -a -derp. Oh no, Flare no. Oh, that's a big boy cannon! I do not like the look of that, Sam I am. That is not a little cannon. That's a jumbo cannon. Ouch! That hurts! Ooh, the technical gear! Ah, no! How dare you! Get back here, you jumbo cannon. Wow, that blizzard does not deal very much damage. I know it's blizzard level 1, and that's why, but... Yow! Ow, 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 Oh, great. I'm already at, like, zero cures. This is the first room! Actually, wait. I think this is a level where you have to, like, collect hearts during a dumb Phil minigame. So I'm not even sure how useful the Thunder is gonna be. Nailed it. Oh boy, it's time for my really bad Danny DeVito voice. Roxas, you got good timing, kid! And by that I mean I can't sound like him whatsoever. We got a heartless situation in the Coliseum! What? You heard me, and Herc's nowhere to be found! I know this is no job for a rookie, but I ain't got much of a choice. This here is the real deal, so stay sharp. I will. No, there's a treasure chest! Hey, hold on! Let me give you two words of advice. Don't... Get careless. Um, right. There was a treasure chest back there that I kind of want to open up. No, it warps me here. But treasure. I didn't think it was going to kick me out. All right, fine. Defeat all the Heartless. Oh, hey, remember when Sora fought guys in the Coliseum? I do. Whoosh. Wow. He's, he's following me. What a stalker! I'm sorry, sir, but I already had a stalker back in high school. I don't need another one. Look at how much HP this common enemy has. And you've got to use just the right magic spell. Although, watch, when he's on the ground, a thunder will get rid of a lot of his HP. But, like, imagine trying to beat this guy if you did not bring thunder. I know the game is like, you sh hey! Maybe you should bring some thunder, but still, like, if you didn't, you're screwed. It's Tubby! This is why I don't like the finite casts of magic in this game. Because, like, if you run out of magic, you can just get screwed. Not as much as a Lionel, am I right? <laughs> no, it's not as difficult as a Silver Lionel, true. 
Nice going! You look pretty good out there. Um, thanks. Now that you're warmed up, how about starting in on today's training? I'm gonna have you beat up even more barrels. What? You're serious about getting into the big leagues, right? Well, there are two things every hero hopeful has to remember. Train. Every. Day. But what about the Sabbath? <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm not! No buts, kid. Now get training. But there's a treasure chest in the first room. Let me know as soon as you're ready. I'm gonna have to leave and try to get the treasure chest, and he's gonna be like, Hey! You can't leave! We gotta train, kid. <laughs> defeat heart? I thought it was gonna say defeat Hercules and collect hearts. It's not that kind of level. Alright, there's the ever- Oh, thank goodness, I do actually get to leave. <laughs> Arrow recipe. Hot dog! I'm so glad I learned that. Alright, let's get this show on the road. You all set the train, kid? Yeah, okay, I I'm pretty sure this is the challenge where it's like, you got it. If you want to collect all the hearts on this level, yep. You gotta smack barrels into the heartless to defeat them. There's a shocking lack of barrels here. Yeah, if you want to collect all the hearts and fill up that gauge, you got to do well at the minigame. Don't shoot the freaking barrel at another barrel, you lackwit! Hit the heartless! Wow! Are you serious? Roxas is like, wait, you want me to actually hit the heartless? What? There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. I picked the wrong keyblade for this. Okay, there. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I have to do air combos, because my ground combos take an eternity and a half. I should have picked the really powerful keyboard of two-hit combos. <laughs> Phil's gonna be like, what? You f that's all you could do? <laughs> Hercules could have done 800. Oh, we completed the mission, but I want to go all the way! No! You dumb butt! <laughs> that was the exact opposite way to hit it. Actually, I wonder if... Can I just... I suppose... Wait, I can actually just kill them. It said you had to defeat them with uh, barrels, though. T Phil's gonna be like, that ain't good. 52 points! Well, we'll just hope you got a steep learning curve. Next time, go for 100 points minimum. I have a bad Keyblade for this course. Not my fault. Want to take another crack at it? I'm pretty sure you can only do this a certain amount of times. So if you don't fill up that gauge within all the training meetings, then you screwed. Oh boy, I see an explosive barrel, though. We're going for that right away. Because these, these puppies can actually take out a lot of Heartless. I wish Roxas had better aim. I wish Roxas would aim at the Heartless, and not other barrels. Roxas, are you serious?! I feel like Roxas either hits it at another barrel, or he's like, hits it two inches. Sometimes both. All right, that's it. Forget the freaking barrels. Can I get another explosive barrel? Come on. Really? Oh, I better be able to do that training again! Uh, 58 points! Man, you suck! Go for 100 points, even though it's basically impossible. Yes, I'm taking another crack at it. I'm filling up that mission gauge. I'm pretty sure three times is the maximum amount you can do it, though. 
Thank you for spawning the barrels as far away from me as possible. Look at that! I, f I fired it two inches. Well, I didn't fire it two inches. Roxas chose to. Alright, Phil, I'll try for 100 points minimum. Oh look, Roxas didn't hit anything! Roxas, you what? That was literally- I was not facing that direction. He literally purposefully changed direction without my input just to be like, I'll hit just another barrel to get two points. Why did Phil give me such a bad ranking? Well, gee, Roxas, I just- I just don't know. It's, it's, maybe it's because you keep hitting the freaking ceiling. Phil's training sucks in every Kingdom Hearts game, but... And that was the direct opposite of what you normally do there. Okay, come on. Give me 800 points. That's a lot of points. Oh wait, we actually might get 100 if we can kill one more guy. Nope! Darn! Next time, go for 100 points minimum. Mm. Yep, free is the maximum time you can get. Alright, that's enough for today. Good. <laughs> Actually, it's more than enough. Between giving that heartless pest a pounding and all the training you've been putting in, you know, you could really... Uh-huh. Could really what? Could really use more practice. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Well, I've collected enough hearts. I guess I'll RTC. Sorry, kid, but I can't stick around anymore today. I got some errands to run, nymphs to chase, you know how it is. Sure. I guess that's it for now, then. I guess I'll just have to RTC. Ice cream calls. Also, we used all our magic except one cure. Oh darn, we just passed Hercules again and refused to say hi to him. And now he gets to hear more about how great we are, even though we sucked at the barrel game. Phil, I'm back! Where you been, Herc? We've been drowning in Heartless since you were off Zeus knows where. Heartless? Where? Let me at him, Phil! Yeah, too late. The new rookie took care of him. I'm telling you, champ, that kid ain't half bad. Although, you should have seen how much he sucked at that barrel game. <laughs> well, Phil, the barrel game is really terrible. <laughs> True. I told you, this game is literally eating ice cream on the clock tower. The game. Double mission rewards. Oh boy, technical gear plus free. Transforms your weapon and allows you to stream out together faster, much longer ground combos. Yes, I want f longer ground combos, because they're not long enough. Day 122. Greetings, Kubo. Have a look at my wares. Alright, we got a couple thousand heart points now. That's pretty good. We can get the Fearless gear. Alright, we got 2,000 left. Let's buy Arrow and Cure and Cure. That looks pretty good. And now we can synthesize a couple of arrows. And we'll synthesize some cures as well. Oh yes! Blizzard block! Okay, so we can actually get free. Perfect block. Links to a block panel allows you to block just as an attack hits to eliminate recoil. That's kind of nice. Bo links to a block panel allows you to ignite enemies sometimes when you block. But this one allows you to freeze enemies sometimes when you block. Uh, that one's the best. By far. Because frozen enemies take triple damage or something like crazy like that. So, instead of increasing the block by one level, which I literally have no idea what that even does, we're going to get freeze block. We're also going to re-equip haste, because I want to run fast. What ring do I have equipped right now? The combo boost one. Combo boost is pretty good, but maybe... No, I think, I think that's probably the best one we can get thus far. The fearless gear. Yeah, I'm still going to have the ominous gear. The ominous gear is really... Well... Yeah, it's better than the Chrono Gear, but once I get the Chrono Gear Plus, I'll probably be replacing it. I like the short combos of the Chrono Gear Plus. Alright. 
Let's get some blizzards back in. You re think you read somewhere block level 2 making you face your target when you block correctly? It's lame. Wow, that is that is dumb. Alright. Yeah, we'll re-equip some blizzards just in case. Blizzard tends to be a pretty good spell. Depart as soon as you are ready. Alright, we're teaming up with Zaldan today, going to investigate Beast's castle. Who exactly is this beastly master of the castle? I'm sure Zaldan... Oh no, Zaldan's going to begin his obsession with the beast this time. Oh no, I have to do my Zal my really bad Zaldan voice. Nice ponytail. Hmm, <laughs> still as dark and empty as ever. It's practically a cave, a fitting home for a beast. The castle's master? You've seen him, haven't you? Every inch a monster. So you've done a little exploring here on your own, then. Yes, I suspect it was some kind of spell that left him in that state. A spell? The data we've collected suggests he was human originally. The exact sequence of events is unclear, but it was a spell that forced him to live as that... thing. Wow, that can't be fun. We're here to analyze, not sympathize. Let's begin hunting for clues. Alright. We'll leave the beast's chambers for later. Let's search the rest of the castle first. If you say so. Zaldan's weird because he has, like... I feel like his speaking voice and his battle voice are completely different. Scratch marks. Work of the beast's claws, no doubt. He's not what you'd call a tidy fighter, is he? It looks as though he was fighting a losing battle. Zaldan makes a good party member, though. Oh, yes, another air slide level. That's good. Shh, I hear voices. Somebody's in here. Master won't even to bell. Master, then it must be the servants. Come away, lest you draw any attention. Right. No going into the parlor. Oh, boy, Mega Shadows! Zaldan is a cool organization member. His fight in Kingdom Hearts 2 is one of my favorites. Also, legitimately quite difficult. Let's see what's behind door number two. Roxas, we have to keep a low profile, you fool. No more throwing doors open. I won't have it. Hi, Portion! Dang. Mega Shadows are kind of annoying. I mean, regular Shadows are also kind of annoying with their ability to hide in the ground, but... That's for another time to complain about. Tracks. The beast's footprints. He must have battled Heartless here. Why would he want to fight them, though? What's in it for him? If I had the answers, I wouldn't be here listening to your questions. Wow, rude! The other organization members are not very nice. I mean, granted, we are the bad guys, but still. Hey, Neo Shadow. Whoa! That was an impressive shockwave. Boom. <laughs> you... Ooh, an elixir recipe. For a, an item that I will probably never use. That's how I am with really rare and good items in RPGs. I'm like, I can't use it now. I might need it later. And then I never use it, ever. The end. That's how you properly use good items. I actually think elixirs in this game will be genuinely open. Get back here, you stupid bulky vendor! No, 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 no! Freaking A! I swear, I've only killed one bulky vendor in this entire playthrough. <laughs> I was just complaining about limited magic cast. Elixir restores all your magic. Yeah, they're good, but I can't use them now. I might need them later. Although, if I, since I've played this game before, I might actually be more willing to use them. Especially if I can get a decent amount of them. 
But I think elixir because elix you need individual elixir recipes in order to make elixirs. I feel like they are kind of finite in this game, whereas in other games it's like, yeah, you can make elixirs, they just take a lot of synthesis materials. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I kind of want a new Keyblade. I know this is supposed to be, like, the best Keyblade until you get the ultimate weapon, but... I'm not... I don't like these really long, drawn-out ground combos. I don't like relying on air combos for everything. Look at the way the stones have been kicked up. Another sign the beast fought the Heartless. And also a sign that his power far exceeds anything I anticipated. Perfect. Bro, you're, you're a little obsessed. <laughs> I love the movies just so much. This way leads out to some kind of bridge. The only route into the castle. Remember that, Roxas. If a giant Heartless were to attack, it would be through here. Okay, but that's kind of a big if. It's foreshadowing, Roxas. You have no idea how annoying that boss fight is going to be. Anyone who has played this game before knows the Heartless boss that I'm talking about. It is the worst. Well, one of... probably top two worst. Oh my gosh, that is a massive possessor! Oh my gosh, he is massively possessing me! Yikes! You know, of all the levels to not really have any potion- Oh my gosh, Salvin, thank you! <laughs> thank you! <laughs> Man, your party members are pretty good at healing you in this. Take a lesson, Donald. Actually, Donald, other than Kingdom Hearts 1, he's pretty good at healing you. Depending on how you set his AI, that is. So do, like, do the Beast and company know about this place up here? It seems kind of secret, and nobody is ever up here. Bad dog. Ooh, a power tech. Très chic. Oh, um, guess we're in the ballroom now. It's pretty here. How would you compare it to the rest of the castle? Hmm, it's brighter, I guess. Most of the castle's pretty dark. This room will be too in time. Dark with the beast's despair. Bruh. <laughs> I just can't wait to kill the beast. <laughs> Is there a chest on the other side of there? Because if there's not, I'm getting out of here. Nope. No chest. I love how the organization is making like this huge stink of like, why do you want to work with Shion? You can't do missions by yourself? We're really short-staffed. And then they're like, oh, here, team up with Zaldin to look at stuff. <laughs> Zaldin just begged to go. Wait, he's like, wait, Beast Castle, I want to go there. I love the Beast. <laughs> And unlike us, Zaldan actually gets respect from the other members, so they're like, Yeah, sure, Zaldan, you can go home. Take that. Is there really nothing to examine up here? At all? Apparently not. I guess you had to go up here just to reach the ballroom, but that's literally it. Alright, back to the main hall! At the bottom of the ballroom there might be chests. Or at the very least, Heartless. 
And it's, oh, of course. Oh, there's something in the very center of the room you have to examine, but only after you beat all the Heartless. Because you literally are incapable of looking at Fanes while there are Heartless on screen. Never understood that myself. Oh wait, I have magic. Although, the lightning's not doing as much damage as I had hoped it would. No, solid! How about healing me, Zaldan? Be a pal. Thanks! You're a pal! What do they use such a big open room for? It's called the Ballroom, Roxas. <laughs> Why, it's a ballroom, and quite the lovely one at that. No place for a creature as hideous as our host. And it seems he agrees with me. How do you figure? There are Heartless here, but I see no traces of a struggle. I can only take it to mean that he is avoiding this place. Fair enough. I need to try out all the different characters for a mission mode. I'm pretty sure I haven't been that many of them. I think- I actually think I've been most of them, but I don't think I've been like Luke Sword or Zexion. <laughs> Wait, something is there. Oh no, not stealth missions. Another day of the Master skulking about the castle, chasing down those creatures. At this rate, he'll go the entire day without speaking to Bell at all. Again. This can't go on much longer. We're running out of time. Hey, he's in a bad mood. Somebody stole his walnuts. Running out of time for what? Ah, but do you see? This is one of the castle's residents, and like the beast, a human once. You think he's under the spell too? If I had to venture a guess, and from the sound of it, this spell came with a time limit. What happens when time runs out? What indeed. Let's continue our search and stay out of sight. Do 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 Don't get spotted. Great. I'll try, but um, stealth in this game is not very good. Oh, don't worry. Cogsworth will not notice us having an all-out brawl over here. He is extremely short-sighted. Yeah, Zaldin, you take on that guy. I'll take on this guy. Zaldin, you take on that guy. I'll take on this guy. Really, Zaldin? That's all the damage you were able to do? Get over here and let the Keyblade Master do this. Oh no, we're knocking him into Cogsworth's line of sight. I also love how, like, if your party member is within Cogsworth's line of sight, he will literally just, like, disapparate, like in Harry Potter. Nice sofa. No breaks, Roxas. No, I wasn't... I didn't mean... I was just saying. This room. Yes, what about it? It looks just like the Beast's room. This room looks just like the Beast's. Hmm, I sense someone may be inside. Whoever it is must be important enough to warrant accommodations as fine as the Master's. Peer inside and see who it is, Roxas. Oh no, I have to do a girl's voice now. I wonder if he's off chasing those horrid creatures again. He's had to do that every day for weeks. I wish there was some way I could help. Perhaps I'll ask Cogsworth and the others. I'm sure that together we can figure something out. I don't believe it. The woman inside, she's human! Really? Just when I thought this castle was all freaks and furniture? Then she must be Belle. How do you know? All the servants speak highly of her. It's only fitting someone so re well regarded would be given such fine lodgings. She's pretty, isn't she? <laughs> Shion gets jealous. Hmph, <laughs> we've had a good look around. I'd say we've gotten to know our beast rather well. You remember the way to his room, yes? I think so. Take me there. Yes, I know you, you love the beast. We'll go there. 
will get Bell's Magical World on DVD because it never came out on Blu-ray for obvious reasons. Hey, Cogsworth! Okay, at least Cogsworth is not as bad as Lumiere. Examine anything suspicious. No. Beast room! Beast room! Beast room! <laughs> but first, oh, nope. I think it's literally just Beast room! Beast room! Oh no! Stop! We're not alone. Why can't we just teleport across? It is horrible! The monstrous infestation has to end! If only there was some way we could be rid of them for good. But like this, what can I do? I don't even have arms to hold the sword. He must be like the others, another human under the spell. It would seem everyone here underwent some sort of transformation. How do you suppose they wound up under a spell? I couldn't say. We may find some clue in the beast's room. That's just past here. But you really want to go to the beast's room, don't you? I heard he has walnuts. Let us get going. Don't get spotted, Roxas. Don't get spotted. Oh my gosh. He, he is the most erratic out of all of the guards in the castle. Oh boy, a broom. Cleaning supplies. Stop wasting time. Beast room! Beast room! Okay, fine! <laughs> I like to imagine that Zaldin is literally chanting that as we move along. The floor is all torn up. He fought tooth and nail to stop the Heartless here. There must be something ahead. Beast room! Beast room! <laughs> Was there another thing to examine? No, alright. Beast's room, here we come. Examine anything suspicious. There's my treasure chest. Oh boy, Mega Shadow. Oh, <laughs> that's gotta hurt. Ouch! You, were, you weren't supposed to do that there, Zalman. You weren't supposed to knock him away. Oh great, now we have to listen to the low health sound. Hey, look, Zalman! Look, a gargoyle! Weird statue, huh? Art is beyond our ken, Roxas. It takes a heart to feel moved. Did this get knocked over in an earthquake? Use your eyes. These are claw marks. The beast destroyed this himself. It was victim to either a stray blow whilst he fought the Heartless, or else some other rage he felt compelled to vent. Oh, no! I'm out- okay. Do I? Oh, thank goodness, I have a high potion. It's a boy dog. Oh my gosh, I electrified him. He is weak to thunder. Man, ground combos suck! Oh no! Oh no, I can't use thunder now! Now we can't chant beast's room, beast's room. All right, we're finally here. Oh yes, beast's room. <laughs> this is the beast's room. Yes, Zaldan, we are finally at the beast's room. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a look inside. No, I want to. <laughs> Let me look at the beast's room. Let me look at the beast's room. <laughs> Looks like he's out. Oh, how how disappointing. There's something at the far side of the room. You could just teleport into Zaldin! Why didn't we just teleport to the beast's room? My, my. Huh? Zaldin, how did you... You can teleport past stealth sections, Roxas, didn't you know? This rose. I sense a power in it. The beast must hold it quite dear. I'll just take it. <laughs> Well, well, we have made it quite the discovery, haven't we? <laughs> How are you saying that? We're silenced. 
You mean... the rose? What do you care about some flower? Well, tell me what you make of it. It definitely looked important to him. He obviously takes really good care of it. Precisely, Roxas. That is no ordinary rose. To him, at least, it seems to hold more value than anything else in the castle. You saw the room. It was in tatters, save one corner. Maybe that's why he's been fighting the Heartless. He wants to protect the rose? Of course. Some strange power surrounds it. The Heartless are drawn to it. Then his fight is far from over. Our work here is done, Roxas. The beast's weakness is clear. It is? To hold something dear is to let it hold you. His heart is in enthrall to it, don't you see? And that, Roxas, is ample weakness. I'm not sure I follow. Nor should you. You have no heart to love with. Come, we return. I don't know, I love ice cream kind of a lot. That, that's more just like an enjoyment. <laughs> we also can't feel that. Oh wait, can we re-examine Beast's Room? Beast's Room! Are you coming? Beast's Room! I still have some questions about that rose. Now is not the time. Leave it. These picture frames have been knocked all over the place. The beast can't control his rage. It muddles the heart, poisons the mind. You seem to understand a lot about it, considering you don't have one yourself. Oh boy. Stealthy McStealth section again. Hmm? Uh-oh. Cogsworth, is that you? Whew, he almost spotted us. I need to be more careful. But there might be something over here where it's like, Oh, did you exam- Yep, you see? It's like, oh, you need to examine these specific cloths, scratches, these gashes. Signs he fought here? Signs he fought hard. I remember Beast's Castle being in slightly better shape in Kingdom Hearts 2, which takes place after this. That's cause the beat. See, he could just do those stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Cogsworth, can't we just teleport past this? No, we're going to force you to do crappy stealth sections. <laughs> Look at that! It's the worst. I think I truly think sneaking past Cogsworth, not Cogsworth, sneaking past Lumiere is worse than tailing Pete in that one mission. Although tailing Pete was really annoying too. I wasn't even there. Unlike Cogsworth, Lumiere actually has good eyesight, and he he constantly is turning around. It's like he knows we're here. It's like he's spotted us 800 times. Okay. Yeah, he faked us out there. Yeah, and he can turn around on a dime. Okay, he did that. Oh no! No 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 no! You f you crud butt! <laughs> How dare you! It's like seriously solving. Can we seriously not like RTC? I I wasn't there. He spotted Zaldin. <laughs> This part is the worst. <laughs> Roxas, just get good. Okay. I think he does the exact same movement pattern every time, so you just have to literally memorize it. So help me, if there was something to examine over there that we didn't get, I'm gonna be a little bit... little bit frustrated. Maybe Bell has more stuff to say. Bell's room! Bell's room! Oh boy, another stealth section. But yeah, Cogsworth turns around much more slowly than Lumiere does. Like, how did they not hear us? Or see us? What now, Roxas? I bade you return. This Bell person? Why do you suppose she's here? You think she isn't simply a prisoner? It didn't seem that way to me. Plus, she mentioned helping him. Help that beast. <laughs> if I had a heart, I'd be laughing. You look like you have more to say. It's about Belle. She's obviously important to the beast. 
The servants seem more concerned with her than the beast does. They seem to be of the opinion that she matters somehow to their master. Right, but how? Enough speculation. We have what we need. It's past time we returned. Okay, that, that's what I was looking for. And recon missions aren't that fun. Plus, if you've seen the B Disney movie, you already know all of this. And if you've played Kingdom Hearts 2, you also know all of this. Anyhow, let's RTC. Hey, girl! Oh. You're here early. <laughs> Work was easy today. I guess Axel's still out on that classified mission, huh? Just you and me, girl. You and me eating ice cream, watching the sunset. But we don't have hearts, so it's not romantic. So, where'd they send you, Roxas? Beast room! Beast room! <laughs> Beast's castle with Zalbin. Oh yeah, he loves that world. You remember the castle's master she owned? You mean Beast? Yes! Yeah, the Beast we saw. Well, you were right. He does have something he wants to protect. Something he cares about. Really? Yeah, but Zaldan says that's a weakness. Why would caring about something be a weakness? I don't know. I didn't get it either. I think Zaldan just needs a pick-me-up. He needs an ice cream. But he's more of a Dippin' Dots guy. He's weird. I hope Axel comes home soon. Alright. Yay, we get a level up. Oh my gosh, we get free funders, free funder recipes, free Aurora recipes. Wow, we can make Princess Aurora. That's fantastic. All the way we're going up to day 149. Unlike mines. New entry we are added to Axis's diary. Greetings, let's have a look at his wares. Alright. Buy the arrow. Guess that's all we're gonna buy. Elixir! Fully restores your HP and magic. That's pretty good. We're definitely gonna make one of those. Aurora. Magic that sends a gust of wind to stalk your foes. Air tossed enemies take triple damage. Yeah, so this is one of the cool things about this game. Is that the different casts of magic, like Fire, Fire, and Fyraga, it's not just like Fyraga's more powerful than Fyra. It's like, no, they actually are genuinely different spells. Which is cool. Although, in my personal experience, I feel like the, like, just initial, like, Fire, Blizzard, Thunder are generally better than the quote unquote upgraded ones. When, how, what do I need to get the, um, Chrono Gear Plus? I need bronze, I can buy that from the shop, and I need two rune techs. Great, I don't know where to get those. Hey, Zaldan. It seems the unorganization imposter has surfaced. One who wears our coat. Oh no, that's not good. Shion? She's probably working. Like, always. I mean, good for her and all, but it makes me look even lazier. You know, Demix is the guy who, like, he puts in his hours and then just wants to, you know, have a good time and enjoy his free time, and I feel that. You losing your edge, Roxas? No. Go get some training on Mission 46. I'll call 100 points of passing grade. I'll even reward you. Was that the stupid barrel mission we did earlier? Nope, it's not. That is a good boy. You beat a 100 point mark. Here's your reward, kiddo. Obtained bronze. Oh, cool. We don't even have to buy bronze now. Excellent. All right. Let's get that level up. Still hate that we have to physically equip it, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'll keep this for now. Let's do a challenge. It's been a while. Collect hearts in record time. Enemy level plus eight. Team of Axel collect hearts in Twilight Town. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. We do not have to fill up the mission gauge all of the way. So we're going to focus purely on the actual emblem heartless. Yeah, nope. Don't care about you. I 
feel like the easier challenges we can actually do. Maybe not some of the harder ones. Alright. There should be more enemies up here. Yeah, hey, Axel, maybe don't shoot fire at the fire enemies. That would probably be good. There we go, okay. Now we just gotta hurry back in RTC. I would bet we're gonna miss a freaking sigil on the way back, but who knows? Again, does not matter if we fill up the gauge or not, we literally just have to run and get back ASAP. Put in the bare minimum amount of work needed. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna lose one, aren't we? Nope, nope, we still have all three. Excellent. Beautiful. Free sigils. How lovely. Eliminate the watchers in record time. Let's try that as well. Again, the early missions, because we're such a high level, shouldn't take that long. And also shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, hey, Larkseen! You're back. Great. I did not miss you. I think Watchers immediately get killed by our Thunder, so that'll be nice. Yep. Here we go. This is where Thunder is going to be real nice. Especially if we can hit a bunch. Oh, yes, that was so good. Oh, yeah. Thunder is such a good magic spell. I can't believe we still have not learned high jump, though. Like, it's been Kind of a long time. We're like halfway through the game, I think. And still no high jump. Doot, doot. Alright, alright, come on. Hurry it up, hurry it up, come on. We did that really fast. We deserve the free sigils. Beautiful. Free challenge sigils. Earn lots of money. You like Fundiga, but Thunder has its uses for sure, especially against big targets. Oh yeah, well, Fundiga is obviously good. Get lots of heart points. Jump as little as possible and eliminate the Guardian. This is an interesting one, so we literally are just not going to jump if we can at all help it. So I think, like, every time you jump, you'll lose a Sigil. Or maybe it's like, oh, you need to jump for this one part. See, these are the kind of challenges that I like. Like, the weird ones. It's like, hey, can you avoid jumping in this mission? It's like, I never would have thought about doing that before. But yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, so, like, right here. We have to jump there. So we did not lose a sigil for that. Yeah. So, like, if you absolutely must jump, then you can. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I think I see where this is. Yeah. So we flip the switch. Yeah, so you need to make sure that you hug this wall in order to open this switch. Otherwise, it'll force you to jump again, and uh, that's not good. And hopefully, if your locking, if your lock-on system works properly, then you can hit the watchers without actually jumping. You, oh no, we got hit by the one-ton weight, which is actually okay. <laughs> Means we can't jump, but we couldn't jump to begin with. I wish that the challenges included more stuff like that. And also, you saw I jump there. I never pushed the jump button. That's just me attacking while locked on. And that does not count as a jump, which is great. So as long as I don't physically push the jump button, then we should be alright. Do 
you do realize we could have literally just walked one screen over from where we spawned in to this place if the barrier was down. <laughs> Organization wanted to make it difficult for us. All right. And there we go. That will do it. Oh, sweet. Free RTC. That's an easy free challenge, Sigils. I like that. Avoid taking damage against the dark side. Enemy level plus 13. Alright, we're going to try for a no damage run, I suppose. I remember, this one is over in the, uh, station. Dark side, I don't think is that difficult of an enemy. At least in, like, most of the games, he's like, he's all bark and no bite. He looks intimidating, he has a lot of HP, but he's really slow. Uh-oh. Bad camera almost screwed me over. <laughs> okay, this is the part that might be a little bit tricky to avoid. Because this is where he shoots a bunch of stuff. But hopefully if we're really far away, we can kind of despawn the orbs, maybe? Okay, we can't despawn them. But we can block them! Oh man, I'm blocking them actually. Damn it, I did not know that. That's actually really nice to know. Well, that wasn't very near field. Oh, okay. That's right, he pulls out the galaxy. I don't like this. Because now he sends stuff from above. And if one spawns right on top of you, well... Sucks to be Roxas. Like that, that almost killed me. That almost hit me. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that just took a while. There we go. Three more challenge sigils. I think, yeah. I'm just gonna keep doing this for a little bit, I think. Finishing record time. The ones that are marked in yellow, they get massive boosts. That have massive restrictions. Finish in record time for the Shadow Glove. Ooh, let's do the organization emblems in record time. I probably am going to fail at this, but... Actually, wait, this is the one where you need, like, tons of the movement abilities in order to do this, right? Well, crud, we don't have Glide. She don't move it. Why are you even here? This is a mission for me to test my mobility. If you want to help me collect organization emblems in other parts of town that I am not currently at. Doggone it. This is not going well.
Well, gee, I know that's fake. Man, a high jump would help out a lot. So would not sucking, of course. Yeah, we ain't, we are not getting free sigils for this one. Also, I'm pretty sure I have an air slide upgrade that I never actually equipped. Which is funny and terrible at the same time. Oh no, we need one more! Oh, thank goodness, it's right here. We still have the free sigils, but that... Nope, never mind, I had to say it. We are down to two. Alright, two sigils. I'll take it. Considering we didn't have a lot of the movement abilities. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an uh, air slide upgrade that I forgot to equip. Yeah. <laughs> that lets us air slide twice. Jump as little as possible in Olympus Coliseum. Enemy levels capped at 13, enemy level plus 1. Okay, that's... Yeah, let's try it. No jumping allowed. Let me, why can't... Oh, wow. It doesn't let you use magic if the information te text is going? That's really stupid. I jumped and didn't lose anything. I jumped by accident, honestly. But I didn't lose a sigil. Oh, wait. This is the one with the stupid Phil's training. Oh, no. Man, ground combos are annoying to use with this Keyblade! Oh yeah, we're, this is literally the Phil's training one. Dog on it. Yeah, you literally can't use magic until the information test disappears. Oh my gosh, that clay armor has even more HP now. He's only an extra... He's only level 1. I gotta hope I can kill him before I run out of thunder. And even then, the rest of the level is gonna be annoying with uh, not being able to jump to hit the barrels. Oh man, yeah, if I can't kill him now, then I'm... Wow! You whiffed all of those hits! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I still have another thunder. I thought that was my last thunder. Okay. Well, the training is going to be tough, but thankfully I only have to fill the meter up a little bit. All right, then we're going to train. No, I do want to train. I actually don't, but I have to. I literally have to if I want to fill up the meter. Yeah, I'm all set to train. Oh no, are you serious? At least they come down to me. 
I'm very surprised they let me jump at all without uh, lowering my rank. I literally accidentally jumped and then it didn't lower my sigil rank at all. Alright, I'm not gonna win. It's inefficient, but it is building my meter ever so slowly. My combo boost ability is helping. Actually, does, does combo boost affect air combos in this? Because normally there's combo boost and air combo boost, but I don't think air combo boost is a thing in this. Oh, come on. If I could... If I could not have to do the training again and get all the hearts I need here. Do you really have to keep walking onto the enemy with the highest amount of HP? Oh my gosh, yay, I don't have to do the training again. I filled up it exactly enough. Zero points! You really stink. I wasn't allowed to jump. <laughs> Only losers make excuses. No, I don't want to take another crack at it. There we go. Wow, we did that mission twice in one video. Okay, we have enough time for another one. Ooh, destroy the Shadow Globs while jumping as little as possible. I like the sound of this one. This, I think, will actually be really cool. We probably need a lot of magic, though. I wonder how many of these I can even destroy without jumping. Actually, this is going to be a tough one, because Acrobat, you basically have to jump everywhere. It would be nice if it told you how many times you're allowed to jump before it lowers your rank. Oh, I almost made it up there. Keep in mind, I'm not pushing the jump button at all. All of this is the result of me just locking onto enemies and then attacking them. Come on, I see that faint up there. Oh. Wow, I actually locked onto the one all the way over there, but not the one that's way closer to me. Okay. Well, I'm allowed to jump once at least. Really? Okay, I just want to see. Okay, you can jump three times. All right, I'm not. I'm actually not doing that. I thought it sounded. I thought it sounded cool, but no. My, I think I might need more magic spells. Attack as little as possible and vanquish the heartless threat. That's an interesting one. Fill up the mission gauge on collect hearts. That's interesting. I can defeat the bully dog in record time, I think. Oh, my level's capped at 5. Oh, it's saying my level is capped at 5, not the enemies. Okay. So we're level 5 with a stick. We got magic, though. Okay, the bully dog is in the ballroom. I remember that, so... Oh no, are you serious? We have to speed for the stealth portion? You? Wow! Wow! I did... Are you serious? He doubled back twice. I have half a mind to restart the mission just for that. I won't, but... Okay, I'm... I'm... Nope. That was the... Wow, are you serious? He kept doubling back. He kept faking me out. What a jackbutt. No, we're doing it. We are doing that. The almighty stick will prevail. We don't need the stick anyway, so we can literally just thunder spam the bully dog. 
And we have blizzards to back us up as well. Okay, is he gonna keep doubling back? Okay, so he, he fakes us out twice. Actually, like, two and a half times. What a troll. I remember Lightning doing more damage than that. Wow, did it literally get stuck? Why is my Lightning not doing anything? Alright, eat Blizzard. Oh, yes. Stick it, break! Limit break with a stick! <laughs> wow, I went down to one sigil? I, all that work for one sigil? Did I drop two sigils in the span of like two seconds? That was kind of a shame. Well, we got enough sigils to definitely get some new stuff from the shop. Okay, we get the casual gear, free fires, free cures, and a slot releaser. Nice. That's good. That's always good. I like getting slot releasers. Um, shield techs. Do I need shield techs for anything like this? I need it for the lucky rain, so I can't use too many of them, but... Yeah, I don't really want perfect block to begin with. <sighs> wow. I'm a little disappointed by that. I'll buy the bronze. Because I can afford it. <laughs> Alright, let's... I have an extra panel open. That's right, because I just got a slot releaser. So I could equip aerial recovery. Honestly, I never use it. I'm getting range extender instead. I feel like that actually might be more useful. The casual gear transforms your weapon into something awfully familiar. I think that's a really bad keyblade, though. I'm pretty sure it uh, has really bad stats. Alright, we made some good progress today, though. We actually cleared some more challenges, got a couple missions done. We went to Beast's Room. Beast's Room. I think that's where we're going to end the stream for today. Thank you all for joining in. That was a lot of fun. Um, I don't think there will be a stream this weekend. If so, it'll be moved to Sunday. But, having said that, I will be streaming again on uh, Monday uh, next week. So, that'll be fun. I might end up uh, joining Shaggy's stream on Friday, or I don't know when he's streaming. But, I'll keep, I'll keep my ear open. I think my Saturday is pretty much booked, though. I'm doing a game day at my place, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.